everyone. Welcome to another friendship bracelet making video. I'm sure you're all pros by this time. So this next bracelet is a little more flexible. You can kind of do the number of stitches that you want to make it look like you want. I like to call it the chain and it's a variation on the snake on a vine which is the very first thing we learned. Um, so go measure out four colors to about the center of your chest tie them in a knot in half, tie, fold them in half, tie them in a knot, and then tape them to a table. And let's get started. So the first thing you do is you separate it out into two parts um, with, so there's two strings of each color. So put half on this side and half on this side. So there's one of every color in each of your halves. Um, and then separate out your first color. I'm going to start with my light pink and you go around all the others in the figure four on that half. Do that ten times. Like I said, this is a um, very flexible pattern so if you wanted to do it five times and make a smaller chain you totally could. If you wanted to do it 15 times, make a bigger chain, you want to go rogue and do it seven times, totally up to you. So I've done it 10 times on this side. So it looks like we have one half of a snake on a vine, basically. Yeah, snake on a vine over here, no snake on a vine over here. Well, let's change that. So separate out my pink on this side. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same number of stitches that I did on the first half which for me is 10. These are just basic figure four stitches. So now it's of course time for my next color which I'm going to do this kind of red-orange color next. And I'll do 10 of those as well. So basically we started two snake on a vine. And now, you guessed it, I'm going to do my second color on my second side. Ten stitches. All right, now we gather both halves into one big stack and separate out one of our new colors that we haven't used yet. So I'm gonna take my um, orange, bright orange right here, separate it out to the side, and it goes 10 times around all of the strings. If you want a smaller middle, I recommend five times. And if you want a bigger middle, and actually in my example, I did 15 in the middle, so it's a little longer, that's also a valid option. This is, as I keep saying, a very flexible bracelet. So now that I've done this in the middle, I'm gonna separate my strings back out into their halves. And I'm going to repeat the second color that I did up here. So that's my kind of red orange. And I'm going to do 10 of those on each side.
And then I go to my other half and I do the same thing. My red orange. If I can separate it out. Alright, here we are. And then I separate out my pink and do 10 times for it. This is the first color that I used. If you lose count of how many stitches you've done, a good rule of thumb is that both halves should look pretty much the same. So if you're like, well, it looks like about the same length, then you're probably fine. Okay, so now I've done both of my colors on each of the strings that I started with, and now it's time to combine them again with your last color. Um, and if you want to make this with only three strings, then you would repeat the color that's in the middle above. But I've got four colors, and I directed you to get four colors. So we use our last color, which for me is this light yellow, and we do ten in the middle here. And now, this is the full pattern. So we're ready to start again with separating out our colors into two piles and starting again on each half, 10 with the pink. And so the idea is you're alternating in little bows, so like, this is dark blue, light blue, maroon, light blue, dark blue, pink, dark blue, light blue, maroon, etc. Um, when you make it, it ends up really flat. So to get the real chain look, I pull these two apart. Boop. 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 So that you get this nice, fun, circular look. So that's how you do the chain. It's a super fun, super quick variation on Snake on a Vine. Unlike some of the ones like Diamond, Half Diamond, it doesn't take all day. Um, you can also use this type of technique to make, start making like little flowers and stuff. Um, more on that next week. See you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.